Folks, it's been a week for me with a lot of diagrams. This is the feminine that God designed. This is the feminism that Satan designed. God designed Adam first and then Eve. Adam's just, he's not bigger. He's not better. In fact, she's better. She was the, the last creation. Save the best for last. She's the one that can create new life with innocence. She's the one that goes to her appointed crucifixion on that delivery table with fear and trembling, and she goes anyway. Man does not have to do that. So, men, it's Mother's Day weekend. I want you to thank your wife for the destruction that she endured to give you those babies that you love so much. And ladies, thank you so much for, for being who you are. Your nature is truly, truly wonderful. I praise the Lord for, for the creation of females. Now, I drew this just a tiny bit higher, not because he's better, but because he has authority, okay? He has been given the job of pilot. She's been given the job of co-pilot. The co-pilot helps the pilot when the pilot has need of help. They both submit one to another, but they both submit to God. Now, if if the man, in this case, you know, let's say in, in Genesis, it's Adam. So if Adam stopped submitting to God, then Eve would stop submitting to Adam. What happened in the garden is that Eve stopped submitting to God, but Adam stayed submitting to Eve. So Eve said, I want that apple. God says no, but I say yes. Adam was supposed to stay on God's side and tell her, no, I can't. Adam was supposed to cut his tie to her and keep his tie to God. So where he failed was he severed his tie with God and he chose to go with his wife. He let her decision-making be elevated above his. He gave his authority of pilot over to his co-pilot and he let her lead. I'm not saying that there aren't women with excellent discernment. Um, Esther is a great example. Vashti is a, an example of bad judgment and Esther is an example of good judgment. But in the case of Adam and Eve, that's the story. That's what happened. Now, this is what Satan offers. Feminism basically has no God. She thinks that she's the God. And she thinks that because she has so many worshipers. The better she looks, the more men want to send dick pics to her Instagram or her Tinder or her this or her that. And they're willing to share her because they're all porn addicts. And in pornography, you share all the women you can get. doesn't matter how many men are lined up. She's available for all of us. We can all just enjoy. So that goes to her head. She starts thinking she's a God and she worships herself. This is self-destructive. This causes disease, depression, suicide, just all sorts of jealousies, children out of wedlock, just chaos and uh, drug and alcohol addiction internal insecurity this woman has uh, it's a narcissistic system where no she can do anything she wants she can live any old crazy bananas crazy bad destructive way that she wants and never run out of men to say baby you're the best baby you're the best because they want that you know what so she never has to get any better than she is because she never runs out of external um encouragement and external validation from men now she this this girl doesn't go hang out with mom unless mom's also a feminist who thinks that what she's doing is great this this girl would be ostracized by a lot of other women because of the way she lives her life and it's sad because she's not fulfilled this one is fulfilled but this one if she sobered up and had to be alone, she's broken inside. And I, I feel bad for her. I wish I could bring her the gospel. So if you know her, send her this.